I definitely identify as a European. First of all, I was born and raised in Romania, which makes it quite easy to get attached to the place physically. And also, I share the same kind of values that the European Union stands for, meaning human dignity, um, equality, and definitely democracy. And I realized that not everywhere in this world you are able to enjoy these kind of uh, rights and uh, advantages. My formative European moment was definitely my Erasmus exchange program in 2019. Thanks to the program, I was able to study in uh, the University of Torino in Italy, which was definitely a moment when I realized that I don't necessarily have to be home in order to feel at home. One of the most impressive things that I learned there was the fact that uh, whenever I encounter other Europeans, the first um, common ground for us was being European. This is the platform that we managed to build our friendship on, meaning that um, many friends that I made there, I still keep in touch to today and being also part of the European Union. Before the health pandemic, we were able to travel more and see each other. And it's definitely when I realized that uh, I enjoy being European and I enjoy living in Europe. I definitely think it's the COVID-19 health pandemic. Before the health pandemic, I don't think we have realized how much freedom of movement we have and uh, how important health is. And also, I don't think we have realized the kind of um, solidarity we need to show when uh, an event of this proportion comes upon us. I also think that the pandemic managed to show the, uh, the vulnerable uh, reality of the institutional infrastructure, meaning that the fact that national governments had a different response, it's somewhat understandable, but also because we are the European Union, we, we, we want to believe that we have one voice and that we are united in our responses to critical um, events, which has not really been the case right now. And I think it's definitely something that has to be taken into consideration just to make sure that this is not a moment to break us. This is a moment that will make us come out of it even stronger. For me, I definitely think the best moment in recent European history is um, when Romania entered the European Union in 2007. Because after the fall of communism in 1989, the Romanian society has struggled to find their identity and also they have struggled to find the resources to develop further. Being part of the European Union has given us access to the right infrastructure and the right financial support that could um, help us implement a better society at home. To give you an example, um, Romania uh, has a small GDP and to be able to keep up with the pace that other countries are uh, having during this period, let's uh, look at the technological sector, it needed financial support. So the European funds made it possible for young and even older entrepreneurs to start companies and um, build, um, build new infrastructure for technology and innovation. And right now, Cluj-Napoca is actually one of the most important hubs at the European level. And this is definitely a positive outcome of us being part of uh, of the Union and being able to access these, um, these funds. Yeah. 
is definitely the freedom of movement. I study international relations and diplomacy. So I think one of the reasons why I chose this path is because I was able to travel. I was able to experience new cultures and see things from other people's perspective, which is quite important in the field. Having open borders and being able to go to countries such as um, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, um, Belgium, it allowed me to to understand how uh, how each state um, how they work, also the culture of the people and the civil society, which helps me every day in my uh, research. And also whenever I encounter new people, it's even easier to connect because I can understand their worldview. Um, so definitely the freedom of movement. And on top of uh, the professional and academic area, I definitely enjoy each skill I get after uh, being able to travel and the fact that it's so time efficient. I don't need to get visas. I don't need to wait uh, for the application process. And um, what usually happens when you go outside of the EU in uh, certain parts I uh, actually have two in mind. First of all, I think it should work on the solidarity between the nation states and the institutions. As mentioned before, the health pandemic has only shown what the vulnerable uh, areas are when it comes to international cooperation and coordination of efforts to have an effective response. So solidarity is definitely an area of improvement as well as the commitment to the United Nations Sustainable Agenda. I think that the recovery after this pandemic depends so much to, to our level of commitment to the, to the agenda. It's a new world and we have so many issues to tackle, such as climate change, gender parity. So we have to, as we go to recover from the pandemic, we must also keep in mind that we must implement those goals. And uh, this is not only regarding the European Union, the national governments, the institutions. I think us as the civil society should make it our day-to-day -day goal to make, um, to make our part, to, to do our best with small steps towards a greater outcome for us all.